Last time I went on a train and coded this train simulation. It's similar to what I did a long time ago, but using a different approach without the heavy math. This train is just a bunch of dashed lines stacked on top of each other. I coded it much faster than expected, so I still have time to do something with it. I thought I'd make a game about the trolley problem. The trolley problem is a thought experiment in ethics about a fictional scenario in which an onlooker has the choice to save five people in danger of being hit by a trolley by diverting the trolley towards just one person. The problem became viral in recent years because it's something self-driving cars need to consider as well and making the car choose something raises serious ethical concerns. Vsauce also made an experiment to see what would people actually do in such a scenario. Check it out if interested in the psychology of us. Here I won't go into any of that. I'll keep the scenario light-hearted and the goal will be to move the train away from the cat or it's game over. So here's how I did it. First I renamed the web page to trolley problem and then I added the victim attribute. It will be at an offset relative to the start of the track and I'll give it an icon, an emoji, so I don't need to style it myself. Interesting how Copilot suggests I use an image of a family. Let's try not to overthink it as I look for a cat emoji online. I made the draw victim function and moved it into its own file and after realizing the offset was too large, I eventually got it to show up like so. Now, it's just a red square at the moment, because I'm not sure what trick I can use to make the cat appear along the track. I didn't want to implement interpolation to keep the math easier, and tried looking online for help. But internet didn't work. Was in the middle of nowhere and signal was bad, so I couldn't rely on any help and decided to try something funny. What if we look at the red pixel locations and average them to find the x, y of the center point. Not sure if it's necessarily easier than interpolation, but I found it fun to try, and it works. I mean, I'm drawing a blue circle here at the moment, but putting the emoji, which is just text, it's a piece of cake now that we have the coordinates. After I got the cat the way I wanted, I thought leaving the red circle behind it could be a good idea, so it pops up more. I played with different sizes, but in the end I made it small. So small that it's hiding behind the cat. Now, this is doing a lot of processing on each frame, going through every pixel, and I could make it more efficient. It only needs to happen on the first frame, really. But I didn't want to bother with that. Instead, I started designing the layout. I wanted to use a large circle for reference. Made the train start at the bottom and turn towards the top right quadrant. After some trial and error I got this, and I could easily make it go left as well. But what I really wanted is two endpoints, so I changed it to be an array and drew both tracks like so. I needed to mark somehow which of the tracks is selected, and I also needed to know on which track the victim is to check if the train will collide or not. I emphasized the selected track with the darker color and realized something is not right. The train can't just teleport on the other track like that. The layout needs to have a common piece of track in the beginning, so I defined the point where the track would split, and I played a bit with the values. Uh, not like that. Yeah, like that. This is the point before which we have to make the decision. After this, whatever happens is unavoidable. I thought it'd be nice to use the keyboard to decide the track. So I labeled them A and B, and showed these on screen with the white background, so it looks nice. And then asked Copilot to generate an event listener, and it even set the selected track index accordingly. Thank you. I played a bit with the location of the victim, and disabled selecting the track if the train went too far. I did this based on the frame count with some trial and error. I then added the score system on screen, made it update and show game over when making a mistake. I also showed the round. The idea is that the train would go faster and faster as the round increases. I changed the layout a bit and made the system that automatically progresses to the next round. After a bit of fidgeting I got it to work. So I set the initial train speed to 1 and then increasing it by a small amount on each round. I didn't like that the score matched the round pretty much, so I made it depend on how fast you make the decision, the quicker the better. It was nice, 
But then I realized sometimes you don't have to do anything if the train is already going away from the cat. So I made it always go towards the cat. So you need to press something on each round. I also thought to make this into a keyboard teaching game. So instead of A and B, the letters would come at random on each round. I made sure to support both lower and uppercase letters and randomize these on each round except the first one. I thought round one should be easier. Then a bit of fine tuning. I didn't need the square border around the canvas, but I kind of liked using the circle there as the border, so I kept it. And last thing was to make a fade when the round starts and ends. I was quite tired at this point, so I tried doing it by trial and error without really thinking. And five minutes later, I couldn't get it to work. So I had to think. I then closed the console and played the game for real to see how good I was. Try it out. It's on my website. Can you do better? Take a screenshot and send it over on Twitter or Discord. I won't bother with the high scores database for this one, so it's the only way I know you like it. Thanks for watching and see you guys.